Were you not aware that the law prohibits this type of performance from taking place without prior permission? Over there! Someone's yelling at Nilu! I think I just saw the Academia's Grand Sage. Why is he here in person? But the dance of sub -Zeros is one of the key parts of the sub -Zeros festival. If we can't perform it... The sub -Zeros festival... The law also prohibits the private hosting of large-scale religious festivals. Only the Academia can host such an event. If you continue to resist, we will have to order an investigation into every single event organizer. The Grand Sage has already granted you much leniency. I advise that you exercise tact. How... How did things turn out like this? The Academia was originally responsible for the sub Festival. But they failed this responsibility for many years. I need to speak with them. This is a hard pill to swallow, but... You're right. Things would only get worse. Art. Dance. Aren't you ashamed of pursuing such frivolous and meaningless activities in this land of knowledge and reason? Our Archon created the utopia that is Sumeru City for all scholars who sought validity, verity, and truth, while people like you wish to defile it. No. I believe that our Archon never rejected the arts. Even the Goddess of Flowers dedicated a dance to her. With your lack of intellectual credentials, I do not believe you are qualified to debate with me. What you should be doing is finding workers to tear down this ridiculous eyesore. When we return, have the scribe draft an ordinance before the next Nyagarbaha day that prohibits public art performances. We will announce it to the public later via the Akasha. Understood. I will inform him when I return. Hmm. The sub -Zeru's Festival. Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Nilu, are you okay? Oh, Dunyarzad. You all saw that just now? The Grand Sage ordered us to stop the performance. Yeah. Let's go somewhere the Academia can't find us and perform there. Uh, but how do we let everyone know? And what about the atmosphere on the stage? Or, we could get people to block them off so they can't interrupt the performance. Ah, uh, no. They just threatened to investigate the organizers. If we were caught... Nilu, it's alright. Don't worry about it. But you've been looking forward to the Dance of sub -Zeros so much. And I know how important this festival is to you. I don't... It's okay. Seeing you care this much about my feelings is more than enough. It would be too risky to continue the sub Festival at this point. I don't want to get everyone in trouble. If you say so. But... You can sneak out for the next sub Festival, right? We'll make sure the next one is a smashing success. <sighs> the next one... Yes. Okay. It's a promise. It will be a smashing success. turned out those heartless geezers it really is okay there's nothing we can do about it <sighs> still I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets I would have loved to see Milo's dance Today. It's a shame the festival ended the way it did. Nilu and Dunyarzad promised to make the next sub festival a success, but Dunyarzad is running out of time. Yeah. <laughs> All connections have been secured to construct the most stable framework possible. The project has entered its most critical phase. Power has begun to flow from.
Good morning, Junior Zod. Sorry we're late. <laughs> Not at all. I arrived early. Uh, you seem kind of tired. Did you not get enough sleep? I'm doing well. There's no need to worry. Shall we go? Let's start with the stalls over there. Sure! Uh, Traveler? Why are you just standing there? Let's get going! Ooh, they're selling food over that way! Let's go take a look! This is a stall offering foods from the- You're quite well informed, miss. I thought most people nowadays wouldn't know. They're all plants! Oh, Paimon's a little disappointed. Actually, what is the Hoft Mewa feast you mentioned just now? It's one of the Subzeris Festival's traditions. People used to set their tables with seven different foods to symbolize the seven virtues of the Dendro Archon appear to be in the form of the moon. Really? Paimon thought it looked like some kind of food. Hmm... The moon signifies... Hmm... It's escaping me for now. Wait a moment. Is he really looking... Oh, right. <laughs> it means... But if you trust your intuition and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. Understood. Okay. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just learning as I go. <laughs> Guess that was still pretty interesting. Oh. So, where to next? This new shipment of items, they're all so ridiculously over-designed. So these now. Alright, soldiers, now that you have your Yalda candies, don't forget your loyalty to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Yes, Knight Ferris! What's going on? Is this a play? Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, is another Subzeris festival icon and one immensely popular with children. <laughs> it's all thanks to Miss Dunyarzad's sponsorship that the children can meet the Knight of Flowers. Oh, do you want some Yalta candies? I happen to have some boxes ready here. Take a look and pick whichever one you want. Uh, what's to pick? Don't these boxes all look the same? <laughs> it's not that simple. Each box contains a random flavor. It's up to the luck of the draw. Flavors include lavender melon, hara fruit, sunsetia. Ooh, how interesting! And there's also lizard tail and oni kabuto. Ugh, why do those flavors even exist? Hmm. Traveler, help Paimon pick one. Paimon wants to eat the sunsetia flavor. Great! These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from left to right. Which one do you want? Ah, excellently chosen. Number four is indeed Sunsetia. <laughs> Paimon bet you had incredible luck, and Paimon was right. Huh? Are you saying that you instinctively chose the right box? Hmm. But now that you mention it, Paimon also had the feeling you'd choose the right one. Is that kind of like what you felt? Maybe we didn't sleep very well last night. Or maybe we slept too much! Oh, sure. 